two speakers. Uh, Deputy Breed Smith, what way are you working this? Five minutes and five minutes, and I'm asking questions of Minister Creed and Minister Creed alone. I found it a fruitless exercise questioning Minister Humphreys in the past. Um, I want to address, Minister Creed, what I believe is the situation. I believe you failed utterly to take seriously any warnings from deputies in this House to investigate them or to enforce the basic health and safety regulations on the largest state meat, meat processors. The figures are quite breathtaking. There are 16 clusters, and Dr. Colm Henry told us on Wednesday there are 860 workers infected. And I think the repeated attempt to say that 55 to 60 per cent of them have returned to work is an attempt to minimise that stark statistic. On the 30th of April, you were asking this House about the situation in certain meat plants. And at the time, you knew there were six clusters and hundreds of workers infected, but you spent most of your time talking about the supports and capital and investment grants that your government were making available to the wider industry. Your key contribution was to say this. Our primary concern is to make sure that as we approach peak, peak production, we keep processing capacity functioning. To Deputy Stanley, you said, I don't want the message to go out that the factories were letting in the virus and letting it spread. To Deputy Paul Murphy, you said, I want to say that it's certainly not the case that unsafe practices are, are, uh, on the basis of information available to me are taking place. You also said, this is a pandemic. People get infected by one source or another. Despite examples from deputies, you continued to defend these plants. There is nothing to suggest, as you, that the allegation that there are risks because of safe, unsafe practices is actually true. It's a smear tactic dressed up as a concern which is regrettable. Today you tell us your main concern. You reiterate that the protection of public health has to be our overriding concern. But your chief concern, then as now, is to defend the owners of the major, the major industries, the likes of Larry Goodman with his 170 million profits per annum, Dawn Meats, uh, Liffey Meats, all of the big beef processors are being defended in disguise in here. On May the 6th, the study from the US showed that wherever there are uh, clusters and meat plants, within a 15-mile ra radius, the community is twice as badly affected as other uh, areas of the country and I think the HSE needs to investigate that particular study and apply it to where meat plants are located in this country and check out what is happening with the communities who live around them. On May the 8th we find that there's 566 cases of COVID in 10 clusters in meat processing facilities. Dr Ronan uh, Glynn, the, chief, the Deputy Chief Medical Officer, tells us of all workplace clusters the meat industry is by far the worst. Three weeks on from your defence of the meat factory owners and three weeks on when you more or less said that if people get infected one way or the other, it's nobody's fault, not yours, not Deputy Humphreys, not Minister Harris, nobody's fault. Perhaps it's their own fault, like was suggested uh, by another cohort of unfortunates who got infected in clusters in direct provision. Perhaps it's their own fault because they were in unsafe work practices. Now, I want you today to tell us if your primary concern is for the health of the workers and the safety of the community, will you now apologise for misleading this House three weeks ago? And will you apologise to those 800 plus workers who have suffered because the entire regulatory body, bodies in this country have failed them? And that the priority was really on the needs of the big beef barons to export the meat that they were producing. And will you now... Uh, do what the Migrant Rights Centre are calling for, which is to close the meat plants where clusters exist, to allow for deep cleaning, to allow for realignment in those factories, to allow for safe practices to exist. And lastly, if the HSA won't tell Minister Humphreys what meat plants that they have, if they have, what meat plants that they have examined, perhaps they'll tell you. Minister Creed, you have less than a minute. Cahillic, they say that the devil can cite scripture for his own purpose, and uh, I certainly wouldn't be uh, comparing uh, Deputy Smith to the devil, far from it. But I, I think you have selectively quoted what I said, because I always, I have always stated that whereas the the agreed by, by this House, the agreed priority was that the, the agri-food sector was an essential service, and that to keep supermarket shelf stock to keep people with a, a supply of safe food, these people do essential work. And we agreed collectively in this House that that was the case. But I always said, and the record will show, 
that in so doing, the primacy of those workers' health and welfare was not to be compromised. And I think the record will show that uh, on multiple occasions uh, in any time I've been asked questions about this. So, I mean, you may say, Deputy, that I have failed utterly, our government has failed utterly, and I suspect nothing that I can say here will, will change your mind about that. Uh, we, we will agree to differ. But I, I, I think there should be some reassurance, perhaps if you're open to being reassured, that the HSE, you know, is, you know, in terms of the outbreak okay, control team...